Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. We're going to finish up the 5 Series BMW, and we have chosen the Art to Shine Graphene BX Coating for protection. I can showcase that for you today. We're going to showcase the BX and also the maintenance. The BX is a less concentrated version of their Nano Graphene Coating, a little bit easier to apply. We'll get to that later. And also the maintenance can be used self described as a maintenance, but also as a topper. Before we get started, I've never showed you the prep process before coating. I like to clean the floor, clean the walls, all of the compounding and polish residue has to be cleaned up. Then we get to the car and clean up the car as well. You can use whatever panel prep you have. This is what I'm using here. And we're going to get the surface of the car. We're going to get all the cracks and the crevices. We're going to open up the hood, the trunk, the doors, the gas lid. Get every little corner that we can perfectly clean of polish, residue, and compounds. In my original graphene coating video, I did cover all the bases as to what it is and how they work. And I'll try to put a link up above here if you want to visit and revisit that video. But I can go over the Art to Shine uh, coating we have right here today. And that is, again, the, the BX. This is a less concentrated version, so it makes it a little bit easier for you guys to apply. It's the uh, consumer version. It is 50 milliliters at $114.95. Uh, and as expected, the new product here, uh, as things are being refined, is a little bit pricey. So be prepared for that. Graphene coatings are pliable, flexible, quite different from SiO2. They disperse heat quickly. They really fight against water spots, huge in my area, with the heat dispersion, the reduction of surface temperature, the help fighting against corrosion and chemical resistance. It can make excellent coatings. They are reduced graphene oxide and polydimethyl siloxane. They're combined in this product to reduce the temperature and disperse the heat quickly. With the shop bay and the car prepared for the coating, Let's grab the BX, shake it up good. We're going to get that rich formula mixed up. I'm going to crack open the cap and get that plastic insert for drops out of there. I don't like that. I like the droppers. I like complete control of the coating. With a brand new suede applicator on the block, I like to prime that applicator with two or three lines of the product straight down the middle. That ensures nice, even application. This coating here, I would definitely recommend a shop setting if you can, but if you can't, out of direct sunlight, nice, cool temperatures. Make sure the area is nice and clean as well. I like to keep my coating area and bay surgically clean. I will work a two by two section with this particular coating, maybe a little bit larger. It's nice and cool here. I could go larger, but you don't want to let the coating set on there for longer than 20 seconds before you start to wipe back the transfer solution. This portion of the coating, the BX, will not flash or give you that rainbow color. It's not that type of coating. The topper, however, which is combined with a little bit of SiO2, will give you that um, rainbow effect if you look at it under the light. Every time I come back to the bottle to reload that applicator, I'm going to give it a good shake. And now that we have the applicator primed a bit, just takes one or two lines and we can hop back over to the car. Okay, hopefully I'm going to give you a first person view and hopefully that gives you a better angle to see what it's like putting the coating on. You're going to wait four to six hours in between layers if you want to layer the product and cure time 24 to 48 hours. With the base coat and the topper, you're looking at about five years of protection. And I say about because I'm going to have to wait and see these customers' cars coming back that elect to get this coating and I will judge for myself.
this is what it will look like. And again, no rainbow effect. So let's start to get this transfer solution off. Two towels. The first one, I'm going to gently go over the area, remove all high spots, kind of massage the graphene into the little area I'm working on. The second towel comes in and completely wipes up the rest of the transfer solution, leaving behind the coating itself. Make sure you surround yourself with some quality light and you won't leave any high spots behind. No big deal. Already I am getting excited seeing the gloss and the shine come through. I can't wait till this is cured up and we have the topper on here. So I'm going to get this going. With the hood already looking and feeling incredible, I'm going to go ahead and just repeat that whole process all the way around the car. And this is what it will look like as it starts to cure. Again, 24 to 48 hours. Like a mirror, you can the reflection, you can pick out just distinct definition and really impressive so far. In four to six hours, you can layer or you can grab the Art to Shine maintenance product, which is a lightweight version of the coating. And this serves to protect, maintain the base coating itself and can be layered on top of other SiO2 or TI-22 coatings. Same process, remove the cap, get rid of that silly plastic insert, prime yet another new microsuede applicator, and we can get to it. Complete opposite of the base layer, the BX, this has to be one of the easiest toppers I've ever applied. So if you guys already have a nice coating on your car and you're looking for a topper, the maintenance here, you can grab on your own. 50 milliliters for 44 bucks. Not bad at all. And you can get around the car quick with this. Same thing here, I'll use that first towel to spread out evenly around throughout the panel and then come in with the second microfiber and buff to perfection. First person view of the topper.
Incredible so far. Let me quick finish up the hood. Depending on the size of the vehicle, it shouldn't take you longer than 35 to 40 minutes to get around the car with the topper. Already looking fantastic. With the even-keeled personality that I have, you won't see me grinning from ear to ear like an idiot or doing jumping jacks or backflips for the product. But inside, I'm really excited to use it, and I can't wait to use it again. So in 24 to 48 hours, you're looking at cure time. So let me get some numbers behind what we're seeing, and it truly is um, out of this world. And that will bring us to the final thoughts segment of the video. When it comes to the Art to Shine's graphene coating, both the BX, the foundation layer or the base layer, and also the maintenance or the topper, there are pros, there are cons, there are unknowns. The pros, the gloss and the slickness is off the charts, period. Also the ease of use when it comes to the maintenance product, the topper here, the cons, be prepared to have patience when you're laying down the foundation layer or the BX. It is a different experience. It's not an experience that's going to say you know, that I'm going to say I'm not going to ever do this coating again. Far from it. It's just if you've been doing other coatings, SiO2 coatings and TI-22 coatings, you will notice the difference. Also, uh, cons, price. As of now, they're pricey, they're new, expected. The unknown, guys, that's going to be durability. This is a five-year coating. This is the first time I used it. I just laid it down. I'm going to have to see the car as it comes back from maintenance every six months, and this one will, so that's great. So as of now, I can't even rate this product. Uh, if I would right now, it would be impressive. I can't say go out and get it um, because I don't know all the information on it until I get the car back through in the next, you know, within the next month six months, year, two years. I will share my experience when it comes back as I use this coating and other graphene coatings more and just realize as time goes by, as the years go by, these coatings will be more refined, easier to use, and even more durable, I believe. So far, right off the bat, as I mentioned in my first graphene video six months ago, a year ago, these will take the place as the top dog when it comes to protection for your car. They will never replace and put out of um, existence SIO2 coatings. They will still exist, but these guys here will be the king of the hill. Brian from Apex Detail, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. When it comes to the graphene wax and the graphene window coating, these will be the next few videos. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you later.